So students, as we all requested in the comment section, I saw so many comments saying that ma'am, we want planner, weekly planner, daily planner, monthly planner. So here I am with the chemistry planner. And for droppers, I have made a different planner. And for 12th ongoing, I have made a different planner. So this whole video is for J2026 aspirants. Those who are dropper, we are here for you. Those who are in 12th right now, we are here for you. So firstly, I am going to discuss that what are the low and high priority chapters. So guys, you can see this over this. These are the most, most, most important chapters that you cannot skip even a single, that you have to invest the maximum time in these chapters. Then these yellow category is also very important, but these are highly important. This is little less important but this is also extremely important and when we talk about these green they are as i am saying it here right as it is decreasing the priority is decreasing this is 10 this is as it is going six right so that's how it is decreasing so what you have to focus what will be the priority chapter this is how is going to be the sequence of priority chapters which you are going to focus more on Right now, if I talk about, if I talk about ma'am, ma, according to the priority chapter, what is going to be the timetable, what is going to be the planner for the droppers, right? So let's talk about, I have divided it into weeks and also I have written here, this is going to start from this Monday, that is 21st of July. And I have also written here that what exactly you are going to see is 21st of July to 27th of July is your week one week two week three according to that you will have all the weeks so every week you will have a dedicated plan for that dedicated target for that see once you have a target automatically your brain will try to cover that up your brain will not procrastinate automatically right so let's talk about this for the droppers what i have kept in mind that you guys have gone through 12th also, 11th also. So no, new, no chapter is very new to you, so, right? So that's why I have combined the chapters like that. The chapters of 11th and 12th that are in connection, right? According to that, I have made the plan. So firstly, you will do some basic concepts of chemistry, then solution because they are interrelated. Then after that, do chemical kinetics. This is not related to both of them directly, right? Next is after that, do structure of atom. Now in structure of atom, you will see basics of electronic configuration that will be used in entire chemistry, right? So that's why you will do structure of atom, then equilibrium, then thermodynamics in the week two. In week three, you will focus entirely on redox reaction and electrochemistry. It's a very, very lengthy chapter. So dedicated time I have given here. In week four, till now, we are at 11th of August and here we are going to do periodic classification, chemical bonding and coordination compound. See students, we are not going to pick block chemistry here. We are only going to see periodic classification because some basics of periodic classification are used in chemical bonding and are used in coordination chemistry, right? But we are not going to pick the full DNF and P block now only, right? Because a lot of cramming is involved there, a lot of exceptions are there. So we'll do in the end. After doing only this much organic, right, because this is the understanding part, we'll again go to GOC. Now, GOC full dedicated one week for GOC. It includes isomerism, it includes uh, IUPC naming, all the electro, electron displacement effects you have here, rearrangements, everything regarding GOC, you have to do it here, right? After that, your path is open for organic chemistry because for organic revision, you need to be very well revised with the chemical bonding structure of atom, uh, periodic classification as well. And uh, yes, right. And GOC, most important, right. So after that, you can pick out any chapters. I would advise you to follow hydrocarbons, then haloalkanes, haloarenes, then alcohol, phenol, ethers, aldehyde ketones. I mean, is a very small chapter, right. Then week eight, we will dedicate to block chemistry. That is, you are at September now, right. So now you have P block and DNF block. P block will take you hardly four days and DNF block will take you two days to cover, right? Or I would say uh, three, three, you can divide for both also, right? Because in one day you can cover two uh, groups at least, so you can cover, right? So till now we are in mid of September, right? After that, we'll pick up some chapters that are very individualistic chapters, right? 
biomolecules, practical chemistry, the weightage is also not very high. Biomolecules is important, but practical chemistry, weightage is okay. -ish, right? Then, once you are here, you have already covered your J main syllabus. Right? Now, if your target is advanced, move towards this. If your target is just means, then what you can focus is just means after that start giving the mock test again one more cycle of the revision you can do that but see target should be high so i am also putting here j advanced chapters so after that these are the j advanced chapters that you need to do right so once you have covered it the according to the plan by 2nd of november you will be able to revise it right so revision week areas, this is from 27th of October and students here you will have your festival season. So you need to follow this plan. Even if you have any festival, you need to follow it, right? Otherwise, things will be messy in the end. In December, it will get, get very difficult for you, right? Why we are targeting this thing here? Why in the starting of November? Because November and December is totally dedicated towards Revision, more revision, fast revision, quick revision and practice and mock test, right? So in the last week, we are going to revise week areas, solve previous year J questions and full length mock test will start from here. November and December is all about focusing on the week areas and mock test. That's it, right? And you will revise everything that you are weak in so that you get ready for attempt one. And why attempt one is so important that I have already told you. Because in attempt two, if you're targeting J advance, it will be very difficult. Because in attempt two, you have board examination, J advance, other state examinations are also there. So focus on attempt one. Now this is for like 12th pressure, right? If you're in class 12, I know that right now backlogs you have from class 11th and you have little idea about class 12. So how to manage both of them, right? Because you are also going to have your pre-boards, then board examinations, a lot of things will be there, right? For uh, droppers, board examinations will not be there, but they will have state examinations. But you will have a lot more here, right? So what is the plan? Plan is to take simultaneously class 11th and 12th in a different manner. So firstly, you will pick again some basic concepts, then solutions. Then you will go towards redox reactions because in 12th, you have electrochemistry and the base of electrochemistry is redox reactions. Okay, so you have to after this, this is 12th, this is 11th, this is 11th and this one is your 12th. So that's why firstly focus on this thing because physical chemistry in class 12th is very easy. Solution, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics. Solution is dependent upon mole concept. Electrochemistry is dependent upon redox reactions. And chemical kinetics you can easily do without doing anything else, right? So, 12th is also going on and 11 chapters are also going on, right? Now, after that, we'll pick some chapters from 11th that you really need to focus on. So, one week you will dedicate totally to class 11th, right? That is structure of atom, periodic classification, chemical bonding. These are the three basic chapters that you should be pro in, right? Only then you will be able to understand class 12th. Otherwise, you will end up getting confused in your own ongoing classes of class 12th, right? So these three chapters have good hold over this, have quick revision, watch one shot, that will be really great. After that, do DNF block. Now, why I have advised you to do DNF block here, right? Because already for droppers, I have advised it in the end because they have already gone through DNF block. You have never gone through DNF block. So you need to understand DNF block to understand coordination compounds. For droppers, they know a bit of DNF block, what was needed in coordination. So that's why the advice was different from them. For you, it is a different thing that you have to firstly do DNF block, only then coordination chemistry will you will be able to understand. Right? After that, students, you have uh, week 5, where we are going to cover, we are going to start with the organic chemistry, GOC, hydrocarbons, haloalkanes, halorenes that we are going to cover. In week 6, you will have other chapters, alcohol, phenol, aldehyde, ketone, amines. Till now, we have covered our organic, that is by September, right? Till now, in all your classes also, organic will be finished, right? Now, we are left with some chapters from class 11, right? They are, that are not so dependent, but little bit we have used. So, because thermodynamics, Gibbs free enthalpy, yes, you use in electrochemistry, but th that much you know, right? But you don't know that much detail of, you have 
like totally lost that what was the thermodynamics like what was exactly there in different different uh, numericals so for that now we will take care of thermodynamics and equilibrium right then we will go towards the p block which is the cramming part now p block 11 class 12 class both we will do right then after that the remaining part by molecules and practical chemistry so even for you by the end of september you will be able to finish it this is your week 9 now is read once your target then start doing this week 10 week 11 week 12 this is totally focused on your j advanced slips right and here also you will be able to match with the droppers because see they have more time as compared to you that is the reality right but you have to extract the time from your daily routine right so that's why here try to complete it try to follow this because if you follow this you will not have to take drop right trust me on that right so that's why in the last week revise your week area solve previous year questions and by december everyone will start talking about your pre board uh, examinations right so that's why because you have completed it here give one month for your board revision board uh, uh, 12th class chapter revision right and then after that start doing revision with the j mock test so you have to simultaneously take care of both the things for you it is more important to follow this time table you don't have time you also have board examinations right so after all of this right when you follow this you will yourself be week 1 you will find it tough week 2 maybe tough week 3 it will get little smoother right but when you have targets in your head it will be more easy to do it and i want all of you to write it down in the chat box in the comment section that yes ma'am you have specially see i have specially made it for you because you were requesting it right so for that you have to promise me that you will actually do this right just by watching the video it will do nothing right so you have to follow this as well right and ma'am where this planner will be provided so i'll just show you that this planner will be provided to you here in the description box here this planner will be provided to you wait a minute yes so this planner will be provided to you here this is for droppers right i'll make a different uh, a link for the droppers this is for the droppers week 1 week 2 all the planner so you can accordingly when you have the planner right you can daily see that okay for this week this is my target right so this is the target and for freshers this is the target you can see week 6 you're at week 7 let's say you are now at 13 october so just click on here you have this one click on here right so this link will be provided to you in the description box here and where is the description box see in this video in the description box here when this will be uploaded this is a description box and here you will see the link right and guys in the description box you will also see sigma j 2026 batch where all these planners we are already following right the plan already is there with the teachers and we are following it if you are think that ma'am i have this planner but i don't think so i'll be able to follow it then if you don't trust it then students you have to be in this batch right because when teachers are there they are taking the classes you will definitely have to attend it because you have paid for it and how much payment 4999 right when you pay something it's it's like when you order pizza you are like uh pizza is not good i'll go no you have paid for it you will eat right so similarly when you have paid for something you will definitely attend the classes right you will feel responsible to attend the classes and that's why automatically the planner will be done right and you can go into this view course plan and these are the different different plans that we have if you want just a sigma batch where mock tests are there test series are there modules are there leaderboards quizzes replay doubt solving everything is there that is at 499 and if you want qr cards also like this right and you want tatva j 11th and 12th hard copies then guys this is at 999 right so this is valid for one year and this is what you need right so guys that's it for today now i'll all see you in the batch and i want you guys to write it down in the comment section yes we will follow 
If you'll follow, write down, yes, we will follow. Right? So all the best for this target. Bye.